my beautiful friends. Thank you for joining me here at my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. It's great to have you here again. And I just wanted to remind you that this evening we are here on a beautiful premiere train. And this evening we had Lori of Lori Houston Art kicking off our train tonight. And then Camille of Camille Amoy Art followed Lori and then myself. Nate of Nate Bright Art normally joins us, but he was unable to be a part of our train tonight as he was doing a different travel adventure of his own and we hope that he is having a wonderful time. So in this particular video, I will be doing another Camille Amoy inspired Dahlia. Camille is the beautiful artist who invented this gorgeous technique by using a spoon to swipe and create the petals. Now, I will say it took several attempts for me to be able to create the petal shapes. And I have to tell you that if you have tried this before and it has not worked, and if it is a style of painting that you really would like to achieve, I encourage you to keep trying until you get it because you have to have the pressure with which you are swiping the spoon through the paint pretty narrow. There's a very narrow margin within which that works. And also the angle with which you have your spoon tilted is a key within that as well. Of course, consistency plays a part, but I feel like there might be a little more wiggle room on the consistency and it could still work. Whereas with in what I've experienced, and mind you, my experience is pretty limited at this point. We would have to really ask Camille her opinion on this because, of course, she developed it and she's done it so many times. So if you have tried this technique before and it hasn't worked for you, I really encourage you to try it again. I did have to try this several times before I got a result that started to look like I was actually getting the petals. And honestly, I didn't even try to do an entire painting before I achieved the petals, I, I literally was taking pieces of cardboard that I was just cutting out from used boxes of food, like cereal or crackers, and putting a thin layer of paint as a base, and then I was trying the swiping action until I could get the petals, because I didn't even really want to bother with trying to create a whole painting or doing it on a canvas. I just wanted to try to get the petals. and. I thought, you know, if, if I can't get the petals, there's really no reason for me to put this on a canvas and to just try to make a whole flower out of it. I literally went in a straight line and the line was big enough to create five or six petals with each cord cardboard cutting that I made. And when I started to be able to get the petals and then when I was able to go into a second row, because at first when I started to get the petals okay on a first row, I was completely ruining that when I tried to do the second row. And that took several attempts until I could get that to where it came out uh, nice looking as well. And then is when I went into painting this painting. So this was my first attempt at actually creating a painting once I was able to get the petals and then get the petals with a second row going into the first without completely trashing the first row, okay? All right, so this actually was there for my first Dahlia painting attempt, but I had many attempts previously before I could even get the petals. So my point is, if you'd really like to do this technique, just keep practicing until you get the petals, and then try it on a canvas, okay? And, um, and also my point is keep trying because you'll get it. It's not, it's not that easy because the pressure has to be correct and the margin of error is not too big and that angle of the spoon has to be correct. But once you get those two things right, then you'll be able to make the petals, okay? So, uh, you know, for further education, please see all of Camille's videos <laughs> because obviously she's the master at it and the creator of it. And uh, I'm just giving you my two cents based on my experience of what it took for me to be able to achieve one of her style dahlias because I've heard many people tried it and they felt they could not do it and then they gave up. So this is why I'm just giving you my uh just my feedback on my experience to let you know I wasn't able to just magically do it right out of the gate. 
there again, honestly, with most of the fluid art techniques out there, I, I, there was only one that I got a pretty decent result from the very first time I tried it, and everything else took many more times than one time to get it, okay? And even the one that I did pretty good right out of the gate, and that was one of my stronger techniques earlier when I started to get good at something, I've actually not been that good at it lately because I didn't do it for a while, and then I decided to try and do it again, the other day and I really didn't do a good job and I was really quite disappointed so it just goes to show you we need to practice we need to stay in practice so definitely give this technique a try if it's something that you would really like to be able to do I have to say that these do look more spectacular in real life than they show on video and while I have had that be my experience sometimes with my videos I would say that more of the time than not, I'm very pleased with the rendering I'm getting on the video compared with the actuality of the painting. But for some reason with these dahlias, at least in my experience, I don't know if Camille experiences it this way, I really feel like the dahlias that are the actual paintings look so much more incredible than what I'm able to capture on video. So keep that in mind too, um, and if that is Camille's experience, keep in mind that for however beautiful they're looking to you on those videos, they might actually be more spectacular in real life. I know that these, the, the two that I have successfully done, this one included, do look more beautiful in real life than even on the video. So that said, let me just give you uh, another bit. I know that there's been some talk between myself and even Lori last week, last Tuesday, she mentioned I'd be announcing something about a new technique I've developed and uh, revealing the official name. And I've been aiming to do that each week the last couple weeks and I feel that those videos need a bit more editing time to really bring them through to a level that I'd be happy with than I've had time to give them. But something else has emerged that I've begun to recognize within the last few days. And, and there was something that I felt was like a little bit of uh, something off base with me between what I was saying was all the steps within one technique and the fact that I had some other paintings that I had accomplished through using parts of that technique. In fact, it was my experimentation within those that led to what I was then starting to bring forth as the technique. And what I realized within the last couple days is that that both of them actually stand rightfully on their own and they're both equally as amazing. So what I've become clear on is that I actually have two techniques. One is a slight variation from the other and it's actually the basis from which what I was considering to be the full technique, it's, it's the basis from where that actually emerged and it really deserves to have its own rightful place. And so I finally reconciled this within my, my uh, being within my mind about it and so I'm now going to be bringing forth what the two different aspects are and they are going to each have their own respective names they're going to be similar in name so that it's clear that they are uh, kind of born of each other and, um, and they're really cool and I'm really excited to bring them forth so I appreciate all of your patience and that's what the delay has been about so that will be coming forth So here's the close-up 
And look at these beautiful little cells. They're so cute. I don't even know how I got cells. I did not use any deco art gold in here. That is an Amsterdam gold. And I don't have silicone, so I'm not really quite sure why I got gold cells. That, that to me seems more like a deco art type of paint thing to have happen um, than an Amsterdam paint. I know we get lacing sometimes uh, with using Amsterdam paint. But anyway, go ahead and just check out the beautiful details in this. I am I'm very pleased with it. And thank you for being here and be sure to check out all of the rest of the artists. And I'll see you back at my channel again very soon.